Hey Richies. Are you tired of your energy being disrupted due to the windmills falling over like dominoes? Are you tired of your energy income being inconsistent and requiring large plots of land? Well we have the solution for you, geothermal energy. You see, we here at Geodudes pride ourselves in our geothermal power plants. Although other renewable energy sources, like solar and wind energy, seem to be good choices, they just require too much land and depend too much on the whims of nature. And as for wind turbines, they need to be placed selectively to be effective, and can easily be damaged by storms and icing along the blades. But geothermal energy? All from the natural heat of the earth baby. As you can see, geothermal power plants use steam to produce electricity. The steam can be pulled from hot water underground or water that is heated by natural heat from the earth's core. The steam then rotates a turbine, which then activates a generator that then generates electricity. Simple and efficient. What makes these power plants so efficient is that there is no fossil fuels required in the process. There is no need to mine, spend resources, or burn the already depleting amount of fossil fuels left on Earth, which can release harmful pollutants. In fact, geothermal power plants emit 97% less sulfur compounds and 99% less carbon dioxide than fossil fuel power plants. There is also no need to transport or store any sort of fossil fuels, which can take up large amounts of land and have the possibility of leaking into the natural environment. Additionally, any leftover water or gases produced after the process can be re-injected back into the earth to prevent any contamination of surface waters or the atmosphere. Geothermal power plants are also very compact compared to other renewable energy plants. A wind farm could take up as much as 1,335 square miles, and a solar panel farm would need up to 3,237 square miles. A geothermal power plant would only need a whopping 104 square miles of land. This means that the land needed to store a wind farm can house up to three geothermal plants, and a solar panel farm could house eight of them. When it comes to where geothermal power plants can be constructed, they can be placed virtually anywhere, as long as there is a sufficient supply of water and access to the natural heat of the Earth's core. They also produce energy primarily for domestic purposes. This makes countries with many geothermal power plants more individual and self-sufficient, reducing the need for foreign energy sources, like fossil fuel imports. When it comes to the actual amount of energy produced, seven of the US states have geothermal power plants. And in 2020, they produced about 17 billion kilowatt hours of electricity, about 0.4% of the US's electricity generation. This may seem small, but as the number of geothermal power plants increases, the electricity produced can only skyrocket. Now comes the pricing. The main roadblock when it comes to geothermal power plants is that they come with a high initial cost for actual construction. These initial costs can range from around $2,500 to $5,000 per kilowatt installed in the US. However, after the initial construction payments, the operating and maintenance costs are relatively low. These costs can range from as low as $0.01 cent to $0.03 cents per kilowatt hour. The costs for actual payment for the energy can be sold from $0.03 cents to $0.05 cents per kilowatt hour. When compared to solar and wind power, their power plants and panels need constant maintenance and operation in order to keep them up and running. So, geothermal power needs high initial costs, but then payments are relatively low after crossing that threshold. The reason as to why you should invest in geothermal energy is because it is more environmentally clean, more cost effective, more potential for production, more safe and predictable and takes up less space, less resources, less effort in order to produce electricity compared to other sources of energy. Now, are you ready to invest in the future?